Hi, welcome to Effective Cannabis. My name is Debbie, really glad you stopped by. I'm 61 years old and I effectively treat health conditions with cannabis. And I'm excited about that and I can't wait to share that story with you. But I'm also very nervous that we could lose it. We could lose it all. And the reason is people are still debating whether cannabis is medicine. I don't really understand why. Because anyone that's using cannabis to treat a health condition, they know cannabis is medicine without a doubt. It's improving our health conditions and changing our lives in ways we could have never imagined. And we keep being told that the data is missing, that we need more research. There's just not enough evidence to back that up. You're just one story. I'm not just one story. You're not just one story. There's lots of Americans out there doing exactly the same thing as you or I trying to treat health conditions that they had very little treatment for before or no treatment for. And now they're finding that their health conditions are changing or improving, stabilizing. In some matter, their life is changing in a good way, positive way because of cannabis. Why is it that Americans don't hear that? Why are there so many Americans or why is it our medical community in itself is not supporting this? Because they can't feel what we feel. They have no idea what it feels like to live in pain and then use a medication and it relieve it and you feel better than you felt in a long time. They don't know what it's like to struggle to breathe and then to use cannabis and then all of a sudden you can breathe better. They don't know what it's like to live with cancer and go through chemotherapy and all the harsh effects of it to what it would be like to use cannabis and not have any of that. See, there's a lot of health conditions that are finding improvement with cannabis, and you and I both know that. But as long as I sit over here with my story and you sit over there with your story, we are just one story. But if we put our data together, we're not just one story anymore. That's why we're excited today to announce that Effective Cannabis is gonna start a study. We're actually gonna study cannabis. We're going to actually see how each specific medical condition is being treated with cannabis. What strains, what consumption, what dose? Are you able to treat multiple health conditions at the same time? If you are, can you do it with the same medicine or do you need multiple medications? Have you been able to reduce medications or stop medications completely? Are you finding that you're treating a health condition that you never would have imagined would have even benefited from cannabis? I believe that people that are using cannabis need answers to all those questions. In fact, all Americans need answers to those questions because right now, according to the CDC, 40% of Americans are living with at least one chronic illness, if not multiple. And they predict that by 2020, 50% of Americans will live with chronic illness, if not two. That's just really staggering when I think about it that half of the United States population in just two years will have at least one chronic illness, if not two. If you don't know what it's like to live in chronic illness, you don't want to learn. If you do know what it's like to live in chronic illness, you'd like to give it away, get rid of it, not have it. Well, that's the beauty of cannabis. It may not change every health condition and treat everything, but it's actually treating things very important that are very serious and it's changing them. It's improving lives. It's improving families' lives. It actually is important for all of us. No one chooses to be sick. If we could change it, it would have already been changed. I've been fighting for 22 years to have better health. And if you would have met me two and a half years ago, you wouldn't even recognize me because I found myself laying in a bed, fighting to breathe at a time when I was being forced off of opiates something I'd been doing for 15 years without any question or concern in the middle of me having a serious lung infection. And then I caught the flu. And nobody cared. They just wanted me off of opiates. Didn't matter that I had a lung infection right now. That just didn't matter. I don't know why. And I didn't have time to figure it out. I had to fight for my life. Then I had to figure out how I was going to control this pain, something I've lived with and don't want but I can't stop it. I didn't even recognize the medical community around me, a community I was a part of, a community I used to be proud to be a part of. And now they're asking me to reduce a medication that's FDA approved for a health condition that's an honest health condition. And it didn't matter. You just need to be off opiates. What are we doing? 
Who are we? Is this really how we're going to do medicine now? Not how I want to do medicine. That's why it's so important we as patients come together and share our story and provide our data so we can show exactly how cannabis is changing health conditions. Because right now there's people that are dying that don't have to. There are people that are struggling with opiates and have no choices when cannabis could be helping. There's people that have cancer right now that might make a different choice if their doctor would just tell them that cannabis was an option. What if you're a parent that has a child with seizures? Why do we want any parent to ask their child to continue to live in that chaos when we know there's something out there that can improve that or change that? or make it less chaotic. I know if that was my child, I would do everything in my power to make sure they had that access. Just like I'm doing, I'm making sure I'm doing everything in my power. I have access, you have access. We matter. Every one of us matter. It counts, it's our health. No one chooses to be sick. If we could change it, it would have already been done. If you're like me, that's what you've been doing. Your whole time you've been sick is fighting to feel better, to reverse it, to change it, do something. And we keep going and just getting sicker, developing new health conditions. Well, cannabis is changing that. I haven't developed a new health condition or a new symptom in two and a half years. I haven't even been hospitalized in two and a half years. That's something I haven't been able to do for years. And the only thing that changed is I had cannabis. If we don't fight for this, we're gonna lose it. Because as I've been trying to figure out how to put effective cannabis together so that we can effectively do something, make it count. Visiting states that have recreational and medical, medical's getting pushed to the back. It's not gonna be going forward if we don't stop this. And if we don't keep pushing medical forward, the medical community will never come on board. If it just becomes recreational, that's what it becomes. And we'll never be able to have the medical community come together and help us and support us. We need that to happen. Because if we don't, who, who are we gonna be in four years? Is 75% of America gonna be sick? I don't know. But I know that we have important data that we're holding on to that we need to use. We've already done a lot of firsts. Let's do the first. Let's be the first one to do this kind of study. It's never been done before, but so what? We can do this. We're strong. We're tough. We've got this. I believe we can do anything we put our mind to. We've already had to fight so hard for our health. We can't let it slip now. I don't believe you want to lose cannabis any more than I do. And the only way we're going to make sure we have access and that it's a recognized medical drug and everyone's told that it could treat their health is we fight for it. If we don't use our voices, who hears us? If we don't put our data down, who sees it? No one, no one's doing this. We can though, that's the beauty of it all. The data's here, it exists already. We don't have to look very far. We just all have to come together. We can share our stories together. We can help one another. But we can also make sure that that person that's living across town in another city or another state that doesn't know if cannabis can help them or not, or doesn't have access because they're being denied it's not legal in their state, we can make sure they all have the same option as us to improve their health and feel better. You don't realize that laying in a ball, crawled up in your bed, not wanting to live, not wanting to be a part of life is not a quality of life. What we want is quality of life. It doesn't matter how long I'm here, what matters is the quality of life I have. So if I only have two more days, I want them to be the absolute best they can be. I'm not asking for perfect, you can't get perfect. And once you live in chronic pain or chronic illness, you usually can't give it back or reverse it. I'm just asking, let me have it to be the best that it possibly can be. And as I tell my stories and share them with you, you'll begin to understand how important it has become and how, how much it has improved my health and my life. It has made it better. I can't go back, I won't. I hope you'll look around and see what effective cannabis has to offer. And if you have any suggestions or comments, we're open to them and we'd love to hear them. And if you're a medical patient and you're afraid or you're scared, I understand I'm exactly where you are. You're not alone, we're together. We're no different, no better. We all have different health conditions. We were all striving for the exact same thing.
to feel better. Let us know if you're worried. We'll help you through the process. We've got this. We can do this. Let's make a difference. Let's make it matter. We didn't fight this hard to just lose it all. Thank you very much for coming by. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you will come back and hear the amazing stories that are about to just unfold on front of on Effective Cannabis. We'll touch your mind and touch your heart. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day.